Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. On this channel, we do daily content talking about different emulators, ROMs, homebrew games, utilities, ports, you name it. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I hope you enjoy this one. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at how we can connect our PS Vita to our iMac through Content Manager. There are two ways to connect your Vita through Content Manager, one being USB connection and two Wi-Fi connection. We're going to take a look at both connections and see how well they work. I'm currently on 3.60 with Hinkaku Enzo permanent custom firmware and hopefully this doesn't really affect the way Content Manager should work. There is a way to install Content Manager from your Vita to your Windows, PC, or iMac, but unfortunately when I started up Content Manager and I wanted to copy content and go through the USB connection, it was giving me an error. And that shouldn't happen, it should at least take you to a window where it says, hey, do you want to install Content Manager on your PC or iMac? And so we're just going to take a look at how we can get past this and get you squared away with connecting on your iMac. Head on over to the first link in the description down below and I'll take you to playstation.net and here we're going to download the content manager for our iMac. As far as operating systems go, I'll have that information for you in the description down below. Once it's finished downloading, open up your downloads folder and run the installer. Follow the setup process and it shouldn't take you more than 30 seconds to fully install the application. Once it's finished, you can go under your applications folder and start up Content Manager. Once you start up the application, you should see a faded little bubble on the top of your menu bar. When you hover over or click on it, it should be the Content Manager Assistant. The Mac OS I'm running is High Sierra version 10.13.6. Next, go to your menu bar and click on the Content Manager Assistant. Go under Preferences, and from there we want to go under Other. Click on Rebuild Database. And for me, this worked. Uh, when I first installed Content Manager, it really didn't see my PS Vita. But after I clicked on the Rebuild Database, for some reason it worked and it started reading all of my content from my Vita, which is great. Let's go back on our Vita and connect through USB connection. Hopefully you are successful with your connection. And if you are, you're pretty much done. For those who fail to connect like I did here, we can move on to the Wi-Fi connection. Head on over to your settings and go under network and make sure your Wi-Fi is the same internet connection as your Mac. Let's go back to our content manager on our Vita and we're going to select the second method which is Wi-Fi connection. Select add device. It's asking if Content Manager Assistant is already installed, we want to say yes. If you don't have Content Manager running on your computer, you won't see your iMac listed under Register Device. After you set up the Wi-Fi connection, make sure that Content Manager Assistant is running on your iMac. And that way when we go through our content manager on our Vita, we won't come across any issues. After you have everything all set up, you should be able to see your iMac under register device. Select your iMac and once you do, on your computer you should see a new window with a code. And all you have to do now is enter the code on your Vita and you're all set.
And there you go, congratulations, you're now connected through Content Manager and you can start hacking your device. If you're still looking for a USB connection, go to Change and then go to PC and then select USB connection. And sometimes it will work, sometimes it won't. Uh, before I made this video, it did work, it was working just fine. But after I uninstalled Content Manager off my iMac and just redid this whole process making this video, it wasn't working. So you will get lucky sometimes, but I'm just going to keep trying and see what's going on with this error. And that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one in the future. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Any questions, as always, comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.